Hello guys, welcome to the first video tutorial on Java programming for beginners and in this video we will see what is Java, why do we care about learning Java and if time permits uh, we will also see how we can install Java in our Windows operating system. So what is Java? Java is a high level programming language which was developed by Sun Microsystem in early 90s. So as any other high level programming language like C Sharp or C++, Java is also a high level language. But it's a little bit different from other languages in a sense that it's a cross platform uh, programming language which you can develop and run on multiple operating system like Windows, Linux and uh, Mac OS or any other operating system and it runs its program using a special uh, virtual machine called Java virtual machine which is this one. So this Java machine is responsible for running Java programs and whenever you install Java on your uh, operating system like Windows or Linux you also install this Java virtual machine and this Java virtual machine is uh, same for every uh, you know operating system so your program runs on this Java virtual machine and not on the native uh, you know Windows or Linux operating system so this Java virtual machine is same for every operating system that's why it's it, it runs on every uh, operating system which Java supports right so if you compile a Java program on Windows you can run it on uh, Linux or Mac OS using this Java virtual machine that's why before developing Java we need to install Java JDK and JRE on our operating system okay and Java is a object oriented programming language so we will see uh, what object oriented programming is and what are the features of object oriented programming but yeah it's object oriented programming and with when we, I will teach you uh, more about uh, the programming we will see what is uh, this so now first of all we need to install Java on our system and uh, it may be possible that Java is already installed on your system or it may be possible that you have never installed Java on your system so how to check whether Java is installed on your, on your system it's easy so you just need to uh, if you are on Windows 8 you just need to right click your uh, start menu button and open command prompt from here and in here you just need to uh, give this command Java C okay so give this command Java C and press enter and if this command responds that Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command then Java is most probably not installed in your system and you need to install Java on your system okay so like my operating system I, I don't have Java so I will install it so I'll just open your browser and just uh, search for Java JDK or simply Java also works and in here the first site will open hopefully from oracle.com just click this link and in here you will be able to see uh, two options one is uh, Java JDK other is NetBeans with JDK so Java is uh, you know uh, the platform and NetBeans is a IDE and you have the option to install Java with this uh, development IDE but I will not uh, choose this option but I will choose this option for now and at the time of making this video Java 8 is the latest version because uh, yeah it's the latest version right and when you click this Java uh, button here so once again Java button I clicked in here you need to uh, accept 
this license and, and condition in order to download uh, this Java. So just click the small radio button which calls accept license agreement and then choose your operating system. So my operating system is Windows 64. You, you, if you have Windows 32-bit operating system, you need to choose x86. But right now I have x64 operating system, which is 64-bit operating system. That you can check if you are on Windows 8. You just need to go to systems. So search for systems, not like this, but systems, system. And in here, I can see that my system type is 64-bit operating system. So if it's 32-bit uh, operating system, you need to download 32-bit uh, executable file. So mine is 64-bit, so I will just click the 64-bit link and I will save this. So it will take some time to uh, download this uh, Java uh, executable. So uh, once this will be downloaded, we will uh, be ready to execute this executable and install Java. So my download uh, is complete now. So I will run this executable file. And I will minimize all the other things. And this installation is really straightforward. So you just need to click next. And it will check the status and all. And... Uh, then it will start installing Java on your system and it's really straightforward so you don't need to worry about anything while you are installing Java and while installing it will ask you the destination folder wherever you want to install uh, Java on your system and JRE on your system JRE stand for java runtime environment and jdk stands for java development kit so these are the two things which will be installed by this installer so i will uh, generally leave them as default and i will click next and then wait for the installation to complete so now java is successfully installed in our system uh, you will be able to see this message and then i will close this and once you install java you can check it while going to uh, the c folder of your computer and then go to program files and in here you will be able to see uh, this java folder and in here you will be able to see two folders one is jdk folder and the other is uh, JRE folder, okay? So JDK, I already told you, is uh, Java Development Kit and JRE is uh, Java Runtime en Environment, right? So I will change the name of these JDK and JRE to, uh, you know, uh, make them uh, short and uh, really easy to, uh, uh, you know, understand. So I will rename my JDK folder as JDK8, okay? So it's just jdk8 and i will rename my jre folder as jre8 because uh, the version of uh, this java is java8 okay and here i can uh, just make them uh, view as large icon so you can see or extra large so you can see that I have named this as JDK8 and JRE8 folders, right? So once you have done that, you need to set your environment variables so that whenever you run uh, your uh, Java program, it will recognize these JDK and JRE uh, and then you will be able to compile your programs, right? So for that, for uh, setting your environment variable, what you need to do is, you just need to go to uh, your uh, systems. So go to search and search for system once again. If you are on Windows uh, 7 or uh, uh, Windows XP, you also need to search uh, for system in control uh, panel. And then go to advanced settings. And in here, go to environment variables, okay? And in, in environment variable, in system variable, here you will be able to find a variable called path. You just need to click or double click this path or add it or click this added button. 
and in here you will be able to see variable name is equal to path and uh, the variable values there will be already some values in here and you need to add some more value here which is the JDK so go to uh, once again program file and Java folder wherever you have installed it and then go to JDK 8 which is the folder we renamed and in here inside this JDK 8 go to bin folder and this destination which is C program file Java slash JDK 8 slash bin you just need to copy this path from here and then in your uh, variable value just give a semicolon and paste your path which is uh, the same path you have copied from here right once again go to uh, your java folder once again and then this time go to jre okay and in here also you will be able to find a binary folder or bin folder and then copy the path from here and then give semicolon to your variable value whatever value is present already here and paste this path also okay so you need to give uh, this uh, c program file slash java slash gre8 slash bin folder and c program file slash uh, java slash jdk8 slash bin folder path here in environment variable and why do we set environment variable is uh, whenever you compile a program whenever you, you uh, compile a program uh, if you set environment variable your compiler knows the path of these binary files which are responsible for compiling your program and it will be straightforward to compile your program now once you have done set your environment variable we will open once again command prompt and check whether Java is really installed in our system or not so once again give Java C and press enter and this time I can see a big uh, you know response in uh, response to my Java C command and I can see uh, that it's saying that the uses of this Java C is you need to give some options and source file so Java C is a command to compile a program or Java program so whenever you give a java c dash some uh, hello world dot java file it will compile your java program and then uh, you can run your java program right that's why uh, we use this java c command so in this way you can install java on your system now in the next video i'm going to show you how you can install uh, an IDE which is called Eclipse IDE which is widely used to develop Java programs so stay tuned and please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now